treat and another little cook in the Power Pressure Cooker XL. I'm excited to bring you along for this one and one of the reasons why is because it's going to save me time and frustration uh, and maybe it'll save you some time and frustration as well. I'll leave a link so you can go check out this uh, absolutely fantastic must-have in the kitchen uh, cooker. I'm going to do hard-boiled eggs in here and nine times out of ten I'll put the eggs on the stove and we uh, I mean we hard boil eggs every week my husband has one in his lunch every day I usually have one and so I'll put the eggs on the stove and then I'll walk off and forget and then I come back the water's boiling how long has it been boiling and I hate an overdone egg so I'm gonna try this method and the timing is going to be done for so me. So you're going to put it to rice and risotto, which is a six minute. I don't think it needs to be that long, but we'll see. I'm going to do it the way I saw it done first. And then you're going to put your little rack in here um, in the bottom. And this is already heating up. The, you'll see the light go around in a circle. That means it's heating up. As soon as you put it to pressure, then it starts pressurizing. You need one and a half cups of water. And then however many eggs, and that really comes right to the bottom of that rack. So it's not that much water. What you're basically doing is steaming these under pressure. And so I'm going to take some eggs, put them right on the rack. And of course these are fresh eggs from my girls. And these right here are only a couple of days, maybe three, four days old. So sometimes they're hard to peel. But I hear tell that it's really easy to peel them done this way. So we'll see. I'm not using older eggs. These are the freshest ones I have. And so um, you're going to put your lid on. And super easy. Lock it into position. You've got your uh, weight back here. And you put that to pressure. Line up the arrows. And now we're just going to wait. This is going to come up. And as soon as it's done, it will beep at me. I'll release, do a quick release on the pressure and drop them into an ice bath and I'll show you how easy they peel. You'll see as well as I will how this works. All right, guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a quick release and we will be ready. I'm just going to grab my uh, spoons here and you're just turning it so it opens that valve in the back and lets the steam out. Okay, so it's clear that it's unlocked and you would not be able to move that if all the steam and pressure had not been released. It has a lock safety feature, which all pressure cookers do, but um, this is really foolproof. And I'm so excited. Okay, so here's one, the, egg, or the shell kind of cracked on it, but it doesn't look like anybody else did. So I'm dropping these into a ice bath. First off, to stop the cooking, so and excited to see how these came out. Oh, that'll be a dropped or a broken one. So I'm gonna grab the one that was broken, um, that cracked. Well, there's another one that kind of cracked, but I don't care because I peel my eggs as soon as I get them out of, um, and I always put them in a water bath. So we're gonna see how easy this peels because fresh eggs are unbelievably hard to peel. Wow, I am so impressed. Well, I guess I won't be doing them any other way. Now, the test though, is it done? And is it done to my liking? I don't like a gray, um, ring around the yolk. Oh man, it's perfect. You guys, it's perfect. I absolutely love this. So I'm going to finish peeling my eggs and uh, that's the way I'm going to do them from now on. Six minutes. I didn't overcook them. I didn't undercook them and they're easy to peel. It's a win-win situation. So if this inspires you to stay with me for the next video, I hope that you go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Share this on your Facebook page. And um, if you guys are interested in one of these, I don't think you'd be uh, unhappy at all. Mm. Mm. kind of hot but delicious so all right guys go down to the about section check out the link i've left for you it's the first link and then go join up on my facebook